Well, today we are going to be making some sausage. And in this first video, I'm taking this fresh pork shoulder blade that I got, and I got it on sale for $1.99 a pound, which I thought was a pretty good deal. Uh, we're going to be using our KitchenAid uh, mixer, our stand mixer, with the meat grinder attachment and dropping things in there and grinding them up. You know, most attachments for things don't really work that well, at least, you know, some some instances. And in this case, this thing works amazing. It really does. Um, not a lot of money for this, uh, but boy, does it really make this mixer even more versatile. So this will be part one, and we will be uh, grinding up this pork shoulder, and then in part two we'll be... Uh, putting the sausage in the casing. So stick around for uh, the next few minutes and uh, we'll do this together. All right, so the first thing you want to do with the pork shoulder, if, if you get the one that has the, uh, the bone in, uh, you're gonna want to um, either start with the back fat and that's that fat cap that's on the uh, pork shoulder, removing that or you can do what I did is um, just cut off the large pieces of pork and then uh, cube them uh, or, or even better yet if you're using this type of processor to cut them in long thinner strips maybe an inch uh, thick or half inch quarter inch th a three quarter inch thick by you know however long and that seems to really work well than trying to jam stuff in that tube and and push it down and get it clogged and whatever so thinner strips usually work out pretty well and so what I did um, once I got closer to the bone I decided that I was going to use my my boning knife which I'll show you a little bit later it's a believe it or not this is an actual Ginsu knife that I ordered uh, directly from uh, Ginsu um, the the company uh, that actually makes it Basically, uh, Ginsu is a Warren uh, Buffett uh, uh, organization, one of his many companies that he owns. And the only way to get the actual real deal Ginsu is to buy it online. Anywhere you see them, they're all uh, knockoffs and they rust and whatever. So I've had this set for about 12 or 15 years and uh, very little sharpening I have to do. And uh, holds a great edge, but it's a very sharp knife for filleting and or uh, boning. And this is uh, specifically a, a uh, boning knife, and it does a fantastic job. So um, what I'll do here is as I'm taking out the uh, shoulder bone and uh, then the, the uh, back cap here, I'm just taking off some of that extra pork uh, meat from the, uh, from the fat cap. And then I'll be... Um, cutting this into strips and then from there it'll uh, you know be really easy for this machine just to grind it up now the KitchenAid mixer you're not going to use a high speed you're I think I had it set on number two so uh, just a low speed um, and you know just drop stuff in and it, and it feeds really really well um, the one mistake that I did make on this is um, when I first made sausage I thought it would be important to get, make it as lean as possible and get as much of that fat out of there. That was a big mistake because the sausage obviously came out pretty dry and with pork you want to make sure that it's cooked to you know, 175, 180 degrees. So um, you, know, you want to make sure you do that. So you definitely want fat in there and the fat is just going to melt and it's just going to come out of the casing and it's um, it's really going to make for a much better uh, product so you want to make sure that you uh, you do keep the fat in there if, if possible so this time around I left uh, quite a bit of fat in there um, really had very little um, and it, I actually had a couple pieces that I thought were a little grizzly and I thought well let's see if the grinder will take them and and I ground it and you know no issues I did use the larger uh, there's two grinding discs that come with it. Um, there's a fine and then a, and a coarse, um, and I use the coarse just to make it easier, but um, it, it really worked out really well. So what we're gonna do here is just we're gonna finish up um, trimming now the meat off of this shoulder bone and trying to get as much as we can off of that. 
and um, you know I did a pretty good job not really knowing the shape of it but you know the, the thing about this is if you follow the sinewy lines uh, of the various muscle groups it's actually pretty easy to do and as you can see here following the, co the contours of the bone uh, allowed me to really uh, clean it off pretty good so we're gonna start grinding this now All right, so uh, we're just dropping this stuff in. It's a really easy process. Uh, as I said earlier, I'm just cutting those pieces of pork into long, uh, thinner strips that I can just kind of drop in. There's an auger that's inside that's um, well below the tip of my knife. So um, it really shouldn't be sticking a knife in there. I mean, I, no one should be doing that. It's just, I wasn't, I know I wasn't getting in there far and I was just uh, getting it uh, kind of started, uh, but I wasn't anywhere near that little uh, plastic auger that's in there. And so um, it's, you know, working pretty good. You can just see it's just grinding away. I um, have to say that with this video, I had to do a voiceover on this because, um, and, and I had to kind of do some different uh, creative angles with the camera because I have NFL Network uh, playing in the background and then the World Series started and my son's sitting there watching TV and I didn't want YouTube banning this so um, we're doing a voiceover on this video but uh, as you'll see as we kind of wrap things up here that uh, the KitchenAid uh, meat grinder is doing really well I have the sausage and casing uh, attachment that was really cheap uh, I've used that before so we'll be showing that in part two of this video and just uh, wrapping things up so this is what we're left with from six and a half pounds of pork shoulder with the blade, the whole blade in it, which you saw we took out. Uh, this is probably about five pounds, I just, I'd say. And uh, so it did a, a really good job of grinding this up. So stay tuned for part two, where we're going to add all of our spices and herbs to this and then we're going to put it in the casing so that's the next video coming up please rate comment and subscribe we'll see you in the next one